Guys, it's Monday, March 25th, 2019, uh, 9.39 a.m. We're actually looking to uh, get into a trade here on SRPT. And on good news, we're actually going to short this thing and we're looking to buy some puts. Um, we're only going to utilize 5,000. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn 5K into 20K in 48 hours, guys. So here it is. Um, here's the trade. Want to buy these. Man, they're overpriced. Here, we'll try to buy these 115s. Buy these 115s. We'll try to buy 50 at a dollar right now. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this, do this, do this. Now, they're five bucks out of the money, but knowing the history of the stock, like five bucks out of the money is no big deal. Okay, done. We bought 50 puts at a dollar, and um, we're automatically showing a gain of 11.75 but it's only because of the inflated ask price. It looks like the stock is going for a major reversal. Here's how it looks on the chart, right? So it opens higher um, and it SRPT starts selling off. Actually, they're talking about it in the news right now. So it's dropping. Basically, we're targeting maybe like a $10 drop. You see the stock is dropping right now. We got into the trade at 9.39 a.m. It's 9.40. Um, you see the accumulation is selling off. So what we're going to do, you guys know what I like to do, is uh, set the limit orders to sell them as soon as I get on these positions. Nice and easy, right? So what, what we're going to do is uh, we'll take this uh, position here and we will create a closing order to sell 25 of them. We'll sell 25 at... 3.3. That, that'll give us a credit of 82.50, and we're going to sell the other 25. Sell the other 25 at. Hold on, pulled up the same order. So I've got sell order for half. Let's put, create another closing order. We'll sell those at five yes, four five. Spiking here. Uh, three dollars forty cents on volume again. So five four five. Uh, they'll give us thirteen and eight. So they'll give us credit for twenty K roughly. Okay, so we use Terry guys. Boom. Set in the limit order. Done. All we can do is be patient now and let the trade do what it does. The quicker this volume comes in on the sell side, the quicker the drop is going to happen. All we're a little targeting is about six, seven dollar drop, but it could drop as much as ten bucks. So we actually didn't utilize the whole five grand. So we actually basically did the trade with five thousand. We bought fifty contracts at a dollar piece, and we're targeting a return of three hundred to five hundred percent on this trade. So we'll follow up. Right now it's nine forty-two a.m. on Monday. Uh, we'll follow up with this trade later today, or tomorrow. Okay, guys, didn't have to wait too long on this one. Uh, it's 9.45, six minutes later since we're taking the trade. The stock is down to 118, 118.07. Just going to keep this running, keep an eye right here on the account. So as it drops, options are picking up the value pretty quick. Um, this is how it looks uh, right here. So we've taken the trade seven minutes ago. Um, we're up 4,500 bucks. And um, let's enjoy the beautiful fall right here. Let's see if it, if it can unwind. Like, look at this accumulation, right? They're just selling the hell out of this thing, okay? And it's going to be very difficult to stop. So ultimately, though, it's going to come to a point maybe around 112, 113 level. After a big break lower, it's just going to start bouncing, right? So, But we have the limit order set. There's not a thing we got to change right now. Again, we just got to be patient. That's all it takes sometimes, guys. You just got to do your calculations. Black Chief Investment Strategy. Strategist Richard Turnell says can see agreement between U.S. and China to address the trade deficit and Mardis. Hey right, guys, check this out. Beautiful move uh, to unveiling so deployment on the S&P 500. Unto early so really nice trading environment right now for shorting. So if you guys have not taken our course on how to determine the patterns, how to find trades like this, how to read these market moves, click the links below. Take some free training. Uh, visit a free webinar. We can get some more information so you can make this year your best year ever, guys. Uh, Black Rocks Tunnels. There it is. It looks like a somebody was biting right here on the trade, but overall, it's just there. 
Um, so again, we're going to try to take this out. Probably another four or five dollar drop right here. And some of you guys may be thinking, well, how do you know it's going to drop there? Well, guys, you got to look at the charts ahead of time before you put these trades. You got to determine some levels at the charts that will be predetermined before you get into these trades to give you clarity of when you would actually want to take the trade out. And one of the probably most uh, advantageous strategies that I've discovered as far as you know taking the trades out is never sell the entire position all at once set a limit order to close half of the position or one third of the position at a certain price and if the drop unveils further like it is right now then you know, positive comments in there. You'll be able to uh, the sell the other half of the position at a much greater price. So there it is, uh, a low of the day set, 117.28, bouncing back to 118, which is nice and healthy. A bigger drop is in the making. All we got to do again is stay with it. Stay the course. Now, I know, guys, a lot of traders would be jumping out right here, right now. They're like, dude, okay, hey, hold on, man. You're, you're, you know, you're making $4,500 on this trade. Why wouldn't you want to just jump in right now? Um, jump out. Well, because everything based off my calculations is telling me that there is a further drop in the stock developing, and all I have to do is be patient, and we're going to see this amount right here. See, it's at 5000 now. I'm going to see this profit double, possibly triple, here in the next few hours by tomorrow. Okay, guys, so here it is. The drop continues. You see it trying to bounce and it's revisiting. Look, it's about China to revisit this low right here. US China relationship broadening to include technological, ideological, and military dimensions. So watch it break for this 117.24 and then a couple dollar lower drop. It's gonna come really fast. Watch this, guys. Actually, let, let's see if I can make this bigger so you can check it out. So there it is. Dropping here, 27.96.50. Okay, so the market is also giving us a helpful hand here, but the stock is not selling off because of the market, right? It's There it is. Here's the break lower, under 117. Look at the accumulation. And the volume is spiking on the way lower, right, which is good, which is exactly what you want to see. So at this point, we're 10 minutes in the trade, guys. So here's the result of the first 10 minutes of being in the trade, up 75.75. And guys, the deal is you can do this. You just got to spend a lot more time with the charts, studying the charts, opposed to listening to the news or other stuff, okay? Um, here it is. If it keeps selling off, here's, so basically since we got an in, there's 250 more thousand shares that were liquidated. And, you know, we don't know necessarily the reason why they're getting out on good news, but we do know that it's got a history of doing this and... If we just study the history on the chart, along with the divergences that the chart is showing us, that gives us a pretty good trade right here. So for those of you that, you know, trade on fundamentals, guys, I've tried everything over the last 13, 15 years of trading. And, and look, it's, you know, it's all in the charts. And you just got to know how to read them, what to look for. And if you spend enough time doing that, um, you'll be able to find trades like that. If not every day, but... You know, they're there every week, every couple of weeks. You can identify these things and take advantage of them. Okay, guys, 40 minutes into the trade, we're hitting a low of 115.75. Um, this is how it reflects on the account. We're up 8675, so 8900 up on the trade, which is basically we invested five, almost getting close to where we're tripling what we've invested, right? So, okay, um, here's the important part, though. When I saw the extra volume come in, when the stock was unwinding lower, I've actually shifted the previous order that we had set. Um, as you can see, remember I was setting the two limit orders. So one was set at 3.3. I've moved it up a little bit to 3.9 because when I see this huge volume come in on the sell side, it tells me that, look, this quicker move could happen. With a quicker move, your option put valuations could spike really, really fast. So even though the stock may be hitting the same level, but because it is hitting the same level AMSC, faster, superconductor at, uh, the option premiums report, could uh, also jump much quicker. Uh, $12 so $29 we've got two orders sitting, one still earlier. at 5.45 and one That's at 3.9.
the Michael, Sandy, Charlie. Here it is, guys. I, I, sometimes I get questions. Okay, well, what do you do to find this trade? So I'm just going to share just a little bit. Uh, if you've taken the charts, divergence, and pattern recognition course, guys, if you look at this chart, I mean, let me ask you a quick question. What do you see? And if you know the material in the course, then you would know that this right here is a head and shoulder pattern. You would know what black candles mean, right? You would know uh, what some of these crosses precede another crosses and the acceleration and the volume and so on and the MACD and this accumulation distribution. When all these things come together, right, it makes for a really easy trade to take. So after this failed rocket candle, as we call it right here, we've had this situation where we're finally getting a pretty significant drop, which could continue easily to this 112 area, 110. And so this is basically what I look at. And for some of you that are trying to get better in trading, guys, I know a lot of traders just they keep listening to the news, but the news does not tell you when to take these trades, when to get in, when to get out. Look, some of the other trades that we've suggested in the last few weeks, I was actually getting some hit for it, but one of them was Tesla. But the reality is if you just followed the reasons why we told you Tesla was uh, going to drop, trading again. You would have made a bunch of money. I know everybody that took the Tesla trade had no issue making at least two, three hundred percent return at some point since we posted the trade because nothing happened to the Tesla besides clear acceleration in the deterioration of the chart. So since then, basically, we're getting into the trade right here at 300, saying that the Tesla was going to drop to 252, 250 level. Well, it hit 254 today. Now, I was getting a lot of comments, people saying, oh, no, I'm building a huge position here on the call side because it's going to move higher. So clearly, it's, it's a bit of a jumpy stock. But you see, same things that I just showed you on SRPT chart. You got the black candle. You got, you know, a big reverse station. You got a ton of things that are very similar that I just showed you on our SRPT. And guys, if you don't know how to read this stuff, you know, it, it, it's just very difficult to trade stuff based off the news. So if you're trying to get better, if you're trying to nail some of these trades, they are here. You just got to know where to look for it. And in the charts, divergences, and pattern course, we show you specifically, step by step, how to identify these divergences before the big reversals actually come in. So for those of you that stayed with the Tesla trade, congratulations. Um, if you've been a part of our alert group, you know that I've been posting the Tesla trade over the last two or three weeks, consistently adding to the positions, even, even though there are times like this. When Points, uh, okay, good. Chipotle is dropping. So Chipotle was actually one of our alerts uh, of in, in the VIP service just a couple of days ago. We recommended shorting below, Chipotle at about $676. And there it is, a, a move lower and Chipotle is finally coming. But sometimes, guys, when you get in these trades, don't expect them to just go immediately right away in your direction. Sometimes they will clearly is the case with this SRPT trade. Sometimes you got to be a little bit patient. And so the market is always going to test you. Uh, and some positions are going to be very difficult to stay with. But if you do your calculations, trust me, you will do much better by handing on to your positions rather than not. Instead of jumping in, jumping out, that's where most of the traders take most of the losses. They may be in a good trade, but they cut in the trade just too damn early. So let's see where we're at here with this one. We're at 114, okay, 385. We still got 50 contracts. I think they're about to get executed. We're making 13. We started with five. So 13 is the is is the gain. So we're about to lock in a 400% gain here, guys. Check this out. Uh, 3.8. We may want to lift this order, right, just slightly because we're targeting this area. So 3.9. Okay, let's lift this to 4.5 because I think with this volume, it's not 100,000 shares while I was showing you guys the charts. So actually, I had it at 3.9, otherwise it would have been executed already. Let's move it to 4.5. Hey, guys, I wanted to um, answer an important question that I get asked all the time. So as you can see, if you look at the volume of SRPT contracts that are being traded today, uh, look, you know that I bought 50. Here they are at the 115 strike. There's a total of 71 contracts that have been traded on this thing today. So sometimes, you know, I'll get a trader talk to me and say, oh, man, I stay away from these low volume, you know, uh, stocks where there's just don't seem like there's enough contracts that are being traded. Guys, there's some hidden gem 
um, really awesome White opportunities hidden there. Not had any conversation because look at this. Okay, 71 contracts traded. It didn't stop me from well, making 14750 bucks so far. And it looks like the stock is about, there it is, low of the day, 1383 Okay, so the other 21 contracts, they were bought for people in our chat room. Now, I know some people bought these 121s. Um, I had a couple of guys bought some of these 121 puts to be on the safe side, 120. So pretty much nobody else is trading this thing today but us in the entire freaking stock market. Okay, so if I just looked at the number of contracts, options contracts that are being traded, look, you wouldn't be looking at this $15,000 gain right now. But we made it happen actually in 57 minutes. Okay, this is what we're able to do. So Please don't let this low volume in the um, number of contracts traded, um, you know, tell you. And if you look at the overall volume for this week, right, 71, there's total of 121 traded. There's total of 148 at this strike right here. So, I mean, the volume is not very significant, but it does not diminish your opportunity for making substantial returns. So next time you're debating whether, you know, the first and foremost question to ask, where do you think is the stock going? Don't look at how many contracts something is traded because the contracts will have the value if you determine where the stock is going by how much is going to drop or move higher. And if you are trying to learn more about this kind of stuff, guys, I strongly suggest clicking the link below, getting more information so you can make this year your best trading year ever.